hopefully most of the stuff here is quite familiar by now. Cerebral peduncle. <coughs> Substantia nigra. Okay, it's a nucleus, mixed dopamine, so it's white. And the red nucleus here. And the nerve fibers we see coming through here in the interpeduncular fossa is the third nerve. Okay, so the most medial part of the third nerve right here is the anterior westfall nucleus. Okay, that's the parasympathetic contribution to the third nerve. So it constricts the pupil. Which is why if you destroy the third nerve, the pupil dilates. We have mydriasis. Okay, the lateral portion here is the oculomotor nucleus. It has to do with moving the eye muscles and the, uh, eye, the major eyelid elevator. Okay. So the oculomotor nucleus and then your westfall nucleus come together here and form the third nerve. So remember we said any brainstem lesion would get these crossed findings. So if we were just to have a destructive lesion right here, if we destroy this cerebral peduncle, the weakness is going to be on the opposite side, right? Because the pathway crosses down to the medulla. But the third nerve palsy is going to be on the same side. So brainstem lesions always have ipsilateral cranial nerve, contralateral arm and leg deficits of some sort. <laughs> Okay, so this is the superior colliculus right here. It doesn't show up very well, but here's the pineal gland, which sits right on top of the superior colliculus. And the auditory pathway, okay, we said it goes from the lateral meniscus to the inferior colliculus to the medial geniculate body, and this is the medial geniculate body right here of the thalamus. So we actually follow the auditory pathway all the way up to its uh, termination here in the medial geniculate body. Well, of course, we'll learn in the temple though, also. Okay, so that's a quick 